Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another Louis Vuitton reveal stroke mini story. Um, the bag that the story relates to is my X, which I don't own anymore, which I've forgotten the name of. It is a District MM, <clears throat> which was in Damier Graffite. Um, I got it last year, last August. I'm filming this in July, so I'd had the bag about 10, 11 months. Um, and I noticed it started cracking, so I rang the Louis Vuitton guest services to find out what was needed to be done and they said just take it into the store and they'll have a look at it. They couldn't actually tell us at that point what they would do about it, but um, the store were fantastic. So I took it into the store at Leeds, which was the store I bought it from, to the same um, girl that I bought it from, who's probably one of the best Louis Vuitton salespeople ever, because she's, she's quite honest and she doesn't try and fill you up with anything. Uh, I'll try and sell you anything you don't really want, so she's one of the top sellers. I'll get her name and I may pop it in the description box later on. Um, so I took the bag to her, said that the bag was faulty. She went to the manager, straight away they said, do I want another bag? Do I want the same bag? Do I want um, to put the money towards another one? Or There was a million options, so I ended up buying another bag. So the bag in question is... This little baby. So this is the bag I exchanged it for. If you know this is going to see the bag on it. It's got a bit of a rain cover on it. But we bought it in Leeds a lot summer. The weather was a bit um, rainy, so she gave me a cover because the last one we bought, which was from Edinburgh, we bought it in a rainstorm and the box was a bit wet. So just take the rain cover off. Excuse the noise. Remember what I say about buying Louis Vuitton with two bags. So the box is massive. Woohoo! See the size of it, so I'll take the first bag off. I'll stand up. I might chop my head off, but not to worry. So the first bag. And because it was bought from England, they didn't charge for the carrier bags. What I'll do, I'll post um, a little snippet. I've got a little tiny video which I'll include of the damage that was on the um, the bag I returned. So that might give you an idea as to see what happened with it. I don't know if anybody else has had problems with the canvas cracking, but um, it's happened to me on a couple of wallets, but I've never had it happen on a bag, so not to worry. The reason that we're going to Leeds is because I've got a problem with one of my bags. So that's this little thing. Okay, so one hand. It's a Louis Vuitton messenger bag which is called um what's it called again i'll think about it later what's happened with it it's only about 10 minutes old but it's starting to split um, i can't sure even find where the split is but hang on So here's the box, <coughs> standard Louis Vuitton box with the, um, the cord on which is made of leather. I think the leather on this is actually better quality than the leather on the part of the bags. So anyway, I've already taken it out of the box just to save all the hoo-ha. So the bag came with its receipt holder as they always do. Inside was the receipt. I'll not show you the receipt as always. Um, so it's got on the receipt, it's got the original bag that I returned, which is a District MM Damier Graphite. So there's one of those returned. And in its place, I got another Keep All 45 Bandelier Damier Cobalt. It's funny because a couple of days before I realised the crack, I noticed this bag on the website, on the Louis Vuitton website, and I actually thought I was going to buy it. So it kind of worked out well in the end. So I just had to pay a little bit extra and got the new bag. The girl was called Louise, so it's Louise who works in the Leeds store in England and she's fantastic, I would absolutely recommend her. Um, so I'll show you what we got with it now, so I'll just pop that away. Excuse my voice, <clears throat> and a bit of a sore throat. So I'll show you the other bits and pieces. I've got a cloth down on the table to try and prevent some of the noise, because you know how noisy I am. So I came with a dust bag. I've seen a dust bag before, I'm sure you don't need to see another one, but came with a dust bag and I asked that to keep all the stickers and everything on it. So the sticker has got the item number which is N4139 and it's a keep all 45 bandolier damier cobalt. 
Um, and it's, it's the same on there. The other stick has a barcode on as well, which has a price on it. So, as always, I don't reveal the prices on here because you can just find out those out online. So, it came with a little care card, which no doubt won't focus whatsoever. Came with this little card. Focus, I can't see. I'm just looking in the viewfinder. So, it came with a card that says coated fabric cow hide leather trim, which basically means the outside of the bag is the Louis Vuitton canvas and the black parts in this example, the black parts are all leather. Quite heavily treated leather so it kind of looks unleatherish. And there was another, co another card that came with it. Again, you probably won't see it but I'll show it anyway. And on the back it says for, for France, made in France bag. Came with a little cutesy dust bag. And inside the dust bag is a little box. It's nothing branded on the box, it's just a plain box. And the box comes wrapped in tissue. Louis Vuitton lock. Let's see if I can show you this. Not a chance of a focusing, but never mind, because it's focus on my big fat head. So it's Louis Vuitton lock and two keys. And because it's the one with the strap, the bandolier, it also came with the leather strap. So this is what I mean about the leather. It is leather, it's quite thick leather. But because it's been treated with this black coating, it's um, it's almost like plastic looking, but it's good because the black um, stops any water damage or anything. It's, it's not waterproof, but it's quite water resistant. So I'll show you some close-ups of that in a minute. Although this is just a strap, what more can I show you? So here's the bag in question. I filled it up with some packing material just so it doesn't look completely sad because when you open them up, as you'll see from my Keep All 55 video, they come quite sad when they're packed up. So it looks a little bit not too fancy. So. Here is Dilly Dilly Dilly. Mm -mm. Now on the video, on the screen I'm looking at it looks blue, which it is blue because it's uh, cobalt. It might look a bit black on the actual video, so I'll just give it a little rotate with my lovely new professional-ish video light. So it's a 45 um, bag, which I'm going to move the camera and I'll show you some shots of it now. So here it is in a bit more close-up. So it's 45, well it's a keep all 45, which means 45 centimetres that way. It's got the two leather straps. It's got this little clippy thing which I've never ever seen anybody use. So this little clip thing goes between both of the handles. And the idea of that is it's to stop me picking the bag up with one handle. Excuse me, creaking Stevens upstairs. So, so you don't pick the bag up with one handle and damage it. So that's meant to keep them both clipped together, but everybody takes them off or just leaves them hanging on. So. I'll just leave mine hanging on as well, as I always do. Actually, I'll take it off. So it came with a nice little luggage tag. The kind of leather that this is, I asked if I could have it hot stamped and they said, of course, the wood. But the kind of leather it is, they said it might bleed. So I thought, I'll just leave this one playing because I've got quite a few of them that are already um, hot stamped with my initials. So there's the end of it. I'm not sure if this one says Paris on the end. The bigger one does, but I don't think this one does. I think this is just plain on both ends. So it's all fully branded, etc. No, there's nothing on the bottom. One continuous piece of canvas. So the logos, the Louis Vuitton logos on one side will be upside down. So it has got, I don't know how many logos one. I was going to tell you how many Louis Vuitton symbols it had, but I have got no idea, so not to worry. So it's got double zips. Okay, and it's probably not going to focus, but not to worry. Double zips, open like this. We can have them to one side. Then you put the lock, put that over there, then you put the lock on there. People keep saying on the um, Louis Vuitton videos that the, the zips are very smooth on Louis Vuitton. But for a bag this price, you'd expect it to, but all of the bags I've had, apart from one of my keyboard was the big one, the zip's quite stiff. So this one's quite stiff, stiff as well. You've probably never heard that. So I'll just take all the packaging material out. we get lots of computers delivered at work so we get this packaging material that we can't recycle so it's quite handy for this. So onto the inside of the bag. The bag is one big cavernous space inside. Let's see if the light can pick this up. This one has got a black interior. I'm seeing the black interior I'm guessing. It's sort of a black blue interior. It's mainly black. So it's got a huge big interior. It's got a D-ring. Quite handy if you want to put your keys on it. And this one, unlike the 55 size, has got 
a huge big inside pocket and that's where the Louis Vuitton tag is. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. The funny thing about the bag was, and I've heard other people say this, it's kind of a waterproofy plastic material. Um, and when you get the bag, even when I was displayed the bag in the shop and the girl opened it up, this smell of plastic came out that was quite overwhelming. It's totally gone now, but it was really, really strong of plastic, almost like glue. So I guess I think the smell was this pouch. See, there's like a, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a, there's like a, a shiny film. So that's what it's, it's made of. It is kind of waterproof. I think it's the same pocket they have in the speedy bags, but it's quite handy. The only problem with the pocket is if you haven't got much in it, you put something in the, in the pocket, it sags the bag down. But that's just one of those little things you just get used to. So. I think I was talking about the zips before and this zip, I know it's only about a week old, it's already quite stiff so I might just have to get the pencil onto it. As you can see, it's quite stiff. So somebody mentioned before, why am I doing a review on the 45 when I've just done a review on the 55? Well the person actually says why am I doing a review anyway, who on earth wants to watch a review on bags but you know who you are and who we are and why we like to watch these what people think is pointless um, videos and expensive bags but I'm going to do a comparison now between this one the 45 and the 55. I hope you can see the difference there so 45 sorry 45 I'll get this right eventually 55 and the 45 so you can see the ends are completely different sizes see the difference you can actually put this one inside of that one lengthwise I'm not sure how this will show on the film, but lengthwise it's, I know it's 10 centimetres difference, but it seems actually a lot more than that. I'll do a, um, a close-up video towards the end of this video. So you probably remember I did this review on the, the 55. This was actually my first ever YouTube video. You probably remember seeing it, because that's the one where I sort of got my lines all mixed up, which I'm still doing now, because I'm still new at this and I'm only doing it as a bit of fun. So that's the, the 55. Back to the 45, I'm going to do some close-up shots of it. You can see it's got a crease in it and that's just because of the way they package the money by them, which everybody is a bit shocked when you see how they squash them into the little box. So I'm going to do the final review now on it. So final thoughts on the 45, keep all, bandolier and damier, not graphite, damier, Cobalt, that's what it's called again, sorry. Um, final thoughts are, when I first got it I was worried that it was going to be too big for a day-to-day -day bag because this is the bag I use for work. So it's quite a large bag but when you compare it to the 55 you realise it isn't. So it's basically a, a bigger version of a Speedy. I know some men get away with wearing a Speedy but there's, there's no way I could use one so this was kind of the, the man's version of the Speedy so it's, it's, it's practical as anything. Even if you don't fill it, it still looks fabulous. It doesn't get too squashed up. Obviously it bends and kinks a bit like that, but it doesn't totally go out of shape. So if anybody was asking about getting one as an everyday bag, which um, as I say at first I was a bit worried about, I thought it's going to be too big, it's going to, I've made a mistake getting this bag, but I would definitely recommend it as a day-to-day -day bag if you carry more than just your wallet, you know, if you need if you want to put a coat in or something or if you want to put your lunch in. It's kind of my lunch bag which seems a bit extravagant but what else do you use a day to day bag for? So I'd highly recommend it. Um, any downsides on the bag? Hmm, I don't think there's any downsides as yet. You know if you don't like Louis Vuitton you're not going to like it and if you don't like Louis Vuitton you probably wouldn't watch this video. Um, so I don't think there's any downsides at all. The black on it, sorry I'm forgetting to hold it in, the black on it's good in the rain and this English climate so if that gets wet it's fine. Obviously the canvas is bulletproof rain wise. There's nothing really can go wrong with it apart from um, say nothing. Unless it cracks again but if it does crack again I'll be straight back to Louis Vuitton. Remember if you do have any, if you do have any problems with your bags please go back to Louis Vuitton, ring the customer services you probably won't get the best service from them, but if you just take it back to the store, especially if you can go back to the store that you purchased it from, the service will be fabulous. If it's out of a year's warranty and they can repair it, they'll repair it, but within a year's warranty, I've been led to believe that they'll do everything they can to exchange it, because a lot of it they can't repair. If you get a hole in it or something, obviously, if you get a hole in the canvas, you can't repair that, but um, hope you've enjoyed that little video. Apologies for my voice, I've got a sore throat and I'm kind of losing my voice so I might not sound as enthusiastic as normal but that's nothing to worry about. That's just down to the great British summer. It's the end of July now and it's like winter, we've got the central heating on, it's 
fairly chilly and it's wintry but that's just England for you so hope you enjoyed that video hope it didn't ramble on too much and I'll do a few close-up shots now cheers Thank you.